That was Shana Cleveland with Don't Let Me Sleep. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. She's out there. She's real, real great. She's I also an artist. like the chord progression a lot yeah. and the vocal tip slash, like, mm-hmm. it also goes back up and mm-hmm. it sort of... You think the chord progressions are going somewhere and then it goes somewhere else. Yeah. And she, 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 and she, uh, she plays guitar too now, so that's all her. It's awesome. Yeah. I love the guitar picking and everything. Uh, it's kind of refreshing. Yeah. Um, because I feel like they don't push enough female artists. You know? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think they do us. I don't know, Jed. I don't I wanna... think the biggest artists right now are female artists. Yeah, but I mean like female indie artists. Oh, okay. Um, without going down another rant because yeah. like the button is flashing for me to go on a rant I, ho- I hope she goes somewhere Jed yeah I think there's she's probably just gonna see any underground that's how there's something that's how there things, though things go there's something there seriously but she's been seen though from what I read like yeah. she's been she has a band two other bands before this so I wish her all the best Jed yeah because that that's like someone like an A&R person sit and listen to that and go okay like some things are like reminding me of like Lana Del Rey now. But that's the thing, like I don't think this stuff people big like record labels won't grab the, this stuff anymore though. Well, you know how they have the indie labels that are subsidiaries of a big record label. Yeah, I guess what they so won't they'll yeah. sort of filter the money down and then make them a indie hit until they feel that they are worthy of But then they also have the bands that make top forty and it's just totally random. Like they just Looked over into like the Portugal the man. Dog, it's like I like love that, them. right? Yeah, I love I them. I don't like that song. But it's overplayed. It's overplayed, but that's a band that paid their dues. They were out for so long. Is that a shit song? Is it a shit song? Um, I think they looked into the indie pot and were like, "Huh, well, we need a rock song, here, fellows." So they were just and they just scooped it up. Yeah. And they just threw it there because Portugal the man have been doing samples. For a while, yeah. I don't. I don't think they sounded like that though. They sounded very indie, uh, rock orientated. But this production, what was produced very top forty. Yeah, and I guess they've they've been with the samples. Like this won't be won't be played on the radio. No, but it could be played on an alternative radio. Yeah, or you know, the station. Um, there's yeah. There's something there for this song. Though. It's a great song. It really is. The video is pretty cool. It's like she's an alien. Nice. Yeah, and it's like rather than like low budget. It's Even real better. cool. Yeah. Um, but her voice though, like it kind of reminds me of Julia Hota. You know, yeah. How spacey the recording is, and how high her voice is, and it goes down. It's great. It is great. So what do you have for um, classic? For classic. Well, on the same tangent. Of the Beatles visiting Trinidad. Oh, you gonna play some Beatles? I mean, maybe Apple Music will will take us out um, for for putting this. Song. Apple Music. Yeah. They, oh, they, they Apple. Pr- Apple. As in like Apple yeah. Records. Yeah. So weird. Wait, wait a minute. Apple Records is not Apple, is it? No, it's not. It came out before Apple. That came out what sixties? Yeah. Apple came out in the late seventies. I don't know why I thought that Apple Music. Okay, well, Apple Records then. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll just swipe us immediately for copyright infringement. Because I this is so protective of Beatles. Not on YouTube, music. though. No, just in general, I don't know. Yeah. I just know that. Well, it took them a while for it to be played on their music to be streamed on Spotify. and. I know. Because they spent a long time working out royalties and yeah. whatever else. They don't get played too much on the radio, Beatles, yeah, which is weird. I, I think it has some of the royalties. Me too. Seriously, like they're yeah. so protective of of them of the copyright. That's a shame. They're, how much money they already made? The thing is, I guess Trinidad's not a priority for them because if you have other places like the UK or America, or just like well, so we're really just talking out of thin air, right? But I think it has something to do with pay, yeah. payments of royalties. If that's the case, pirate them. I mean, they have enough money anyway, right? Yeah. But what's interesting is Michael Jackson purchasing the rights. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Us. Anyway. I right. really got him good. Um, so I guess it's not really. What is the. What is the song? What well, is the song you're going to play? My boy, George, 
My favorite Beatle. Mm? My name is Paul. Well, we can fight over that. No. You have your opinion, I have my <laughs> opinion. Why must we hate each other based on opinions? <laughs> I was making a joke, guys. I'm being dead serious. I was looking at my eye. I'm looking at you in the eye and saying, Paul um, McCartney is great. And George Harrison is amazing. <laughs> um, while my guitar gently weeps. Oh! My favorite um, mm. Paul. Sorry, my favorite George, George song. song. Um, I also like Oh Darling though, so honorable mention I was... I, I was think really it's my thinking. favorite George song too. What's Such amazing? a good fucking song, know, dog! But this is gonna make you even happier. This is the 2018 remaster of the White Album. Oh, who, rem- who remastered it? I don't know. Was it Paul? I don't know. Hmm. But I heard a lot of things I didn't hear before. And they really brought the production up to a modern. So much so that they went through old tapes and old recordings of all the songs on the White Album and tried to pick things that they could layer on top. So there's some vocals in here you never heard. Oh! There's Ooh. some like maybe alternate guitar mixes that you never heard. Maybe even guitar layers. I don't know how I feel, like, feel about that. Nah, I think it, it made... I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. It brought big... Yeah, a better, it brought a fresh life into this album for me, I think. I don't like that because that's not how the artist wanted the song to be. Perhaps. Okay, if but... It, if it was Paul doing it, I'll be very less... I'll be lin- lenient on that. Yeah. But I don't like when other people mess on other people's things though. Well, let's play it. Yeah, I know it's I'm sure not... I'll like it, but I just, I just feel a... No, well, let's just feel away. We'll come back with the, with the facts. We'll come back with the facts, but... For now, here's a 2018 remaster of While My Guitar Gently Weeps off the White Album. <laughs> <laughs> 